Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful square root algebra math problem? It is square root of x cube is equal to square root of 3 cube. How can we solve this beautiful math problem? So let's start our solution. Now first of all, we can write any number in radical form as square root of a. This can also be written as a raised to power. 1 over 2. So using this property we can write both sides as this will become x cube raised to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 3 cube raised to the power 1 by 2. Now here in both sides we will use an exponential identity. So here in this tip we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power n whole raised to power n. This can also be written as a raised to power n whole raised to power m. So using this identity here we can write both sides as this will become x raised to power 1 by 2 whole q is equal to 3 raised to power 1 by 2 whole q. And next we can write these two numbers inside the parenthesis as this will become square root of x whole q is equal to square root of 3 whole cube. Here we will move this to the left hand side. So this will become square root of x cube minus square root of 3 cube is equal to 0. Here in both the terms are in cubic form. So here we will use a cubic algebraic identity here in this step. So we will use this one cubic identity a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. So using this cubic identity here our a is square root of x and our b is square root of 3. So this will become square root of x minus square root of 3 times square root of x square plus square root of x times square root of 3 plus square root of 3 whole square is equal to 0. Let us simplify this one expression. So here this square, this square will be cancelled in both the terms. So this will become square root of x minus square root of 3 times this will become x plus 3 Plus this can be written as square root of 3 times x is equal to 0. Now here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we will get square root of x minus square root of 3 is equal to 0. Or x plus 3 plus square root of 3x is equal to 0. The first one we will solve this one equation. So this will become square root of x is equal to square root of 3. Here we will take square on both sides. So this will give same x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 is our first real solution. So let us suppose this is x1. Now we will solve this one equation. There is square root or this one term. So we have to make and eliminate this square root from 3x. So for that we will move this to the right hand side. So this will become x plus 3 is equal to negative square root of 3x. Here we will take square on both sides. We will expand this using a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. So this will become so become x square plus 3 square is 9 plus 2 times x times 3 so this will become 6x and here taking square one negative sign it will become positive this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become only 3x and here we we'll move this to the left hand side so this will become x square plus 9 plus 6x minus 3x is equal to 0 so for simplifying this it gives him about x square plus 
six x minus three x simply three x plus nine is equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. Look into this quadratic equation. Here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or by completing square. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out roots of this quadratic equation. So first we will write the values of a, b, and c. So here the value of a is one, the value of b is three, and the value of c is nine. Now the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus four a c divided by two a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, c here. So this is negative b. B is three plus minus square root of b square. B is three, so minus four a c divided by two times a. Let's further simplify this right hand side. So this will become this is negative three plus minus square root of three square is nine minus four times one is four times nine divided by two. Now there is nine common inside the square root, so this will become negative three plus minus square root of taking nine common. This will become one minus four. One minus four is simply minus three divided by two. So further, this will become x is equal to negative three plus minus. We can write this as square root of nine times square root of negative three can be written as three times negative one. Divided by two. So further, this will become negative three plus minus square root of nine is simply three, and this will become square root of three times square root of negative one. Square root of negative one is a complex identity i divided by two. So here we have two possible values of x. One is positive, one is negative. So therefore, we can write our x two and second solution will become negative three plus three times square root of three i divided by two. And our third solution will become x3 is equal to negative 3 negative 3 times square root of 3 i divided by 2. So here we have three possible solutions. One is real, that is 3, and two are complex. x2 is equal to negative 3 plus 3 times square root of 3 i divided by 2, and x3 is equal to negative 3 negative 3 times square root of 3 i divided by 2. And we will try to verify this one, this real one solution. That x is equal to three is the correct and real solution of this interesting square root algebra problem or not. So we verify this one solution here. And to verify this one solution here, we will rewrite our problem again. Our problem is square root of x cube is equal to square root of three cube. Here we will replace this. X with three, so this will become square root of three cube is equal to square root of three cube. Taking square on both sides, it gives him three cube is equal to three cube. Three cube is simply three times three is nine, nine times three is twenty-seven is equal to twenty-seven. Now both sides are equal, so it means that x is equal to three is the exact and correct real solution of this interesting algebra math problem. Now, in last, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting radical and algebra math problems. Thanks for watching.